name's Paul Marshall. I'm from Belfast, born and bred, and uh, I play full-time rugby I'm with the Ulster Rugby Squad, and uh, I'm a Christian. Well, I've been brought up in a Christian home, so I was always taken along to church and things like that, and uh, probably from Sunday school days and things, I was starting to learn more about Bible studies and everything, and, and one day, whenever I think I was about 10, I made a commitment to God and became a Christian as such, but I didn't really understand what I'd done. I didn't really understand what it was all about. And uh, I w went on to secondary school then, and I started, I'd started playing rugby when I was eight, and I was continuing through into secondary school, and all I wanted to do in school was play rugby. I didn't even want to do any academics. I just wanted to play rugby, and uh, that went on, and I tried to fit in with the rugby guys then as well. And although I was still going to church from time to time and still involved in some of the youth activities, it just wasn't heartfelt really and, and I was just doing it for to be involved. I wasn't doing it because it was what I was passionate about. So I kept chasing my dream of rugby and then uh, it was funny, a friend of mine phoned me. He had uh, been away in a summer church camp and he'd become a Christian and he phoned me in the summer and said, oh Paul, great news, you know, I became a Christian. And I said, oh brilliant, guess what, I'm a Christian too. And it was funny because that was his relationship, it wasn't my relationship. And although that was him on his road to a relationship with God, it still wasn't wasn't mine. And and I struggled right the way through school, even even in the final years, that I was trying to trying to do both. I was trying to be a Christian, but I was trying to be a rugby player. And and I didn't do it. I didn't give Christianity the number one spot which it needed. And all I was focused on was rugby. In my final year in school, uh, again, all I cared about was rugby, and that was all I was living for. And uh, a couple of instances really really hit me and, and sort of shook me up. Uh, a guy that I had played with and played against had dropped dead playing rugby. And that really impacted me because when you're young, you think you're gonna live forever. You think you're gonna live till you're 70, you're 80. And whenever you're playing rugby, you think, you almost think you're invincible. You just wanna keep playing. And that really hit me that where were my priorities? Was my priority in rugby or was my priority with, with God? And was I following Jesus or was I, was I following rugby? And then another one as well, I uh, haven't been along to church thinking, oh, if I bring a friend to, friend to church, you know, that's, that'll make me look like a Christian. So I invited uh, one of my school friends along to, to one of my friends from church's house. And uh, it was funny, we had a good time and we were there for a couple of hours and I was leaving him home, gets into the car, closes the door, turns to me and says, you're different around them than you are around us. And that really impacted me because do you know what, I'm, I'm leading two lives here. The, my rugby guys, my rugby friends from school are seeing me trying to be the lad. My friends from church are seeing me trying to be the Christian and, and it just wasn't working either way. I wasn't giving either one the respect it deserved. Like I'm actually further on now in rugby than I was back then and yet God's my priority. Like I know that if I'm lucky I'll be playing rugby till I'm 30 maybe. So if that's all I had, if that was all I was clinging on to in life, does that mean then I'd be basically life's over when I hit 30 if I do play till I'm 30. So I think uh, I've just started to grow and mature in my faith and realise that the God's got a plan for you and, and I'm playing rugby at the minute. Some people are doctors, some people are teachers, some people are youth workers. You know, you've got to use your talent that God's given you for God. You know, maybe people come to watch you and they say, oh, you played well, well done, but what impact is that really having in their life? Okay, to come and watch you for an hour, they say, well done, they have a bit of fun, but how much better is it if you bring someone to Jesus like and say, here, do you know what? You need this in your life. I just know that, that God wants me to be 100% for him because he wants me to impact other rugby players. He wants me to impact the people around me. And he needs everybody in, in different situations. <clears throat> I think one of my favorite verses is Colossians 3:23, where it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as though working for the Lord, not for men. And I try to put that best into my rugby, whereby I really try to go all out for rugby for God. But uh, that doesn't always work when it comes to my academics. Sometimes I don't use that verse as well. But I also think as well, it was funny, I was out with a couple of friends from uni just the other day, and we bumped into a girl who was talking to us, and she said she couldn't believe we were Christians and we were having fun, we were just getting on, like everybody gets on, we were just having great fun. And she thought, you must be on drugs, you must be doing this. How can you have so much fun and you're just, you know, normal guys? And it really hit me and I, said, I even said to her, John 10.10, 10, like I've come that they may have life in its fullness. So as a Christian, I should be buzzing, I should be happy because I've got God in my life and nothing else matters.
I think my, my advice would be whatever, you, whatever you're doing, like in Colossians 3, work at it with all your heart as though for the Lord because at the end of the day you can, you can be successful in your job, you can be successful in your sport, in your, in your academics, and school, in music, everything. But if you're building up treasures on earth, they're going to die one day, whereas you've got to build up treasures in heaven. And that's why I would say just go all out for God and, and don't be afraid, don't be embarrassed. Because if God, if you really believe that God died for you, he sent his son to die for you, then why would you not follow him? Like, there's no bigger sacrifice that you can make.